All right, late afternoon wrap up. Wrap up now. Listen, you know, I've said this in the past, and I want everybody to understand this. It's not like I'm some kind of perma bull, okay? Not that anybody is calling me that here. Um, you know, I go by the numbers. I go by the numbers, and what I look at are the fiscal numbers, the, what I call the fiscal flows, the top line government spending. U.S. federal government does over $4 trillion a year. That is a massive tsunami of spending. It, it literally drives economies in the whole entire world, okay? You know how people say China finances the U.S.? It's the other way around. That spending flows to Chinese exports to the U.S. So we finance them. It's not them financing us. Anyway, just getting back to the overall picture, there is nothing that I see in these fiscal flows that are telling me there is any sort of a slowdown underway. However, let me be very clear. We are now running, and I said this before, but I'll repeat it because it is an important point to make. I want you all to understand this. We are on track to match the single year record of spending, which was 2009, uh, at the end of this fiscal year, which will be on September 30th, okay? In 2009, the federal government spent 4.59, let's call it 4.6 trillion. That was the year, I mean, the, the stock market was collapsing. They did the fiscal stimulus in March. Everything turned on a dime, okay? We were losing 800,000 jobs a month. Everything turned on a dime. As a matter of fact, I did a chart book several years ago, maybe it was back in 2012 or something like that, the chart book, and I posted it online, and that, maybe I'll put up the link here, that chart book was viewed over a million times because it was picked up by Business Insider, and they posted it, and it showed where everything turned around on a dime, okay, and we ended the year with 4% growth, now that was with a 4.6 trillion total spending. We're going to hit that this year, and we're struggling to make 1%. So you see how hard and how powerful the headwinds are. And the headwinds, I'm, you know, I'm going to say this again. The headwinds are being created by the central banks with these idiotic policies. You can't strip out income. You can't remove the highest quality asset and collateral in the world, the, literally those are the uh, instruments that grease the entire global financial system and economy when you're talking about government bonds. You can't take those away and expect that things are going to boom. And I went through in my last video how the, the idiocy of central banks extending loans to commercial banks with kind of a belief in their minds that the banks lend out this money. It's the loan itself creates the deposit. Okay, this is not like I said before. It's a wonderful life, Jimmy Stewart, uh, the building, the Bailey building and loan. Okay, I will let you know. Well, I'll certainly let MMT Trader subscribers know when things look like they're starting to break down. And, you know, that will be a reversal, not a reversal completely of these flows, but a, a slowdown in these flows. Now, it could happen in the new fiscal year. Don't forget, they have, to, they have to put through a budget. We have to see what is planned. I can already look at the uh, CBO and what their projections are. I can already look at the uh, Office of Management and Budget and see what the projections are. It's not, I'll tell you this, it's not giving me really a big indication but it's giving me something, but we don't know till we know. You know what I'm saying? So right now, if somebody asked me what I think about gold. Gold is a, a creature of these flows. It, you know, this is what people don't understand about gold, man. When the government's spending more than it's taking away in taxes, when the deficit is expanding, when it's spending record amounts, the gold's going to go up. That's what's been happening. So I stay long. I hate gold, okay? And for the guy who says I can't wait to short it, I can't wait to short it too, but in the meantime, I make money when it's going up because I understand what drives it. Um, so that's it for now. I don't see anything. I, I don't have a particular call on tomorrow's number. I will say I, I believe it's going to be on the, the strongish side, just looking at employment and tax deposit, employment and withholding tax deposits. 
people on MMT Trader, you know what I'm talking about. By the way, if you want to get a 30-day free trial to MMT Trader, go sign up. Go to www.pitbulleconomics.com and click on the tab that says products. If you want the Forex course, go to that same website, click on the tab that says courses. And if you want the daily treasury, if you want to learn how to do this stuff yourself, this uh, fiscal flow stuff yourself, it's probably the best 99 bucks you're ever going to spend in your life. www.pitbulleconomics.com. Click on the tab that says courses and get the understanding the daily treasury statement course. It's like a five hour video. I go through the whole entire thing. I break it down and I show you how to analyze it. All right. Anyway, that's it for now. Probably see you early tomorrow morning. Have a great rest of the day, everybody. Bye-bye.